today, uh, back in 2012. And when that was done, they were parked on both sides of the street and a really awkward bike box at the intersection of Main Street there. And that Main and Union intersection was one of the top 10 uh, vehicle bicycle collision locations in the city. So we embarked on a process to put in protective facilities on this one block where the businesses are and carry separation, which will ride on our way back uh, down. And as you go down that street, which is now closed, um, you can turn left, which leads directly to our seawall, or you can go straight, which we will, to our Carroll Street Greenway and into Gastown. So this one, uh, it's about 0.8 kilometer project linked three existing AAA facilities and provided just a lot of connectivity in that big gap. Um, but it was a big fight. This one block is, you know, it's very quiet right now, but it, it's a truck route. And because of this, because of these structures, it serves some really important kind of connectivity in the neighborhood. Businesses here, this went through a revitalization about the same time we were doing the bike lane. So, most of the businesses had only been in operation for about six months when we came to do the consultation. So, they were very concerned just about any changes to the street. Uh, originally, we were planning a protected bike lane in each direction, uh, but based on network connectivity concerns, we ended up making this direction shared with vehicles. Uh, and we were okay with that because the vehicle volumes are actually quite low in that direction. About 500 a day going east, you know, or thousands going the other direction. Uh, this path was kind of built in that same form, just to say, because we, from the political side, weren't happy that we backed down from making these bikes only. So this path was put in just that, you know, if people weren't comfortable on that one block of the street, they could come in here and ride this. Yeah. Now, one of the things that this path, though, is this site here is one of the big issues, reasons to removing the viaducts as well. So this city block, along with more on the other sides, would now become uh, housing and more businesses. So that's one of the big pushes again to take the viaducts down. Was again just opening up land that's underutilized in terms of these roads and find new ways to provide affordable housing in the city and reconnect these neighborhoods. Um, for this was actually when this was built. Um, this was a thriving uh, neighborhood here. It was actually the it was the black community in the city here called Hogan's Alley. So just right where this landed. There's a couple signs right along that kind of commemorate that, but you know, it's, there's a lot of scars in this city and actually this neighborhood we're going to ride into along with our Chinatown were the main reasons that the freeways didn't go through and at least didn't connect all the way out to the east, which uh, you know, would have changed the look of our city for many years, so we're very fortunate uh, that we're in this place. Um, yeah, any questions? Yeah. It is, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's... Yeah, it's... Um, you know, when actually when it opened, I heard quite a few stories that police were handing out tickets for people riding in the bike lane. Uh, it's somewhat ambiguous, which again, when we did the design, you know, I was okay with that. Uh, people drive slower on it because of this, and people have actually chosen not to ride here, but you know, to drive here because of it. Uh, here looks like the first big station here. You actually see you know, people going yell at the cars, like, oh, it's a road. You know, you can use it. So we're, uh, but we might come back again. We're going to be doing improvements to this bikeway all the way to the east. We might now come and make this bike only if we can. Now that it's been in place for about four years, you can say, well, the sky didn't fall. You know, let's just make it for bikes only now. There are things up. How wide is this? How wide is it? Uh, the lane is three meters. So, what's the beautiful line? Uh, that direction is about 500 cars a day. Uh, the other way is you know, 2,500, 2,000. Last I checked. Would that change if the viaduct is taken down? Uh, everything will, yeah. Don't know how it'll change, but... Because, <laughs> yeah, if, if the viaducts go, that's, I mean, that's an arterial street there, that's uh, prior. It will become the main street that connects into the new streets that connect to Georgia, into the downtown, so... You know, the bigger issues we'll be dealing with is this will now be residential, commercial. You know, that's the bigger challenge, I think, than more circulation traffic versus a through fare. It'll actually, with the viaducts, it would actually remove the arterial component of the street. So that would give you the opportunity to get more right-of-way and to build this out the way you want it to be. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if we get any more right-of-way from our planning department, but maybe fewer cars, you know. But yeah, lots of opportunities, big, big, uh, big changes. But as we keep going, um, so one of the next projects we have coming up will be as soon as we 